Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Still looking to get the shot off. Oh, let's go, Malqui. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new What If Malqui card to review today. That's what I'm going to call him. I don't know what's it's Malkai or Malqui, but I think it's Malqui, so that's what we're going to go with. But we're going to be taking a look at this card. So with Malqui, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at someone that is 5'10 with high medium work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills with a 3-star weak foot. In regards to his in-game player attribute or player traits, he has none player attributes in game. He's got 90 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. Uh, defense, physical, okay. So with a card like this, we're going to go ahead and give him the anchor chemistry style because you want to give him all that extra physical. Because with a card like this being a what if, he could potentially get an upgrade in the future depending on how Fiorentina performs, which is... I think a most likely situation for him, right? But with this card, we're going to be giving him 95 acceleration with 97 sprint speed, which is good for pace stats in this game. To be honest, there's a lot of people that I would actually give him a shadow because of how important pace is for those through balls. Uh, shooting on the card is at a 72, 72, 72. Passing is at 75, 89 for crossing, 85 for short passing, 80 for long passing, 69 for curve. Which is okay. Obviously, an improvement on that with the what if upgrade could definitely be very nice for sure. Dribbling on the card for base card stats is at an 86, 84, 84, 86, 90 with a 78 for composure, which is okay for a fullback again because of the potential upgrade. Uh, while being a right footed player with. An average body type. Average body type is fine to have in the fullback position, center back position, obviously, because they're defenders, right? So it's not a big deal to have in those areas. Now, obviously, with a card like this, he does, unfortunately, have 78 stamina. I don't really know what EA is going to do with that because, you know, even if they give him, like, an 82 or an 83 stamina boost or whatever it is, like, it's a card that you mostly have to use on stay back while attacking in the fullback area anyways because this isn't really the type of card that you can really use as a right mid because his shooting is okay, right? It's okay. It's not really a fantastic card for an attacking presence, especially since that stamina is as low as it is at 78. So it is definitely a problem for a card like this. Uh, with the anchor chemistry, style we are going to be boosting his defensive stats as followed right so with this uh with potential upgrades in the future definitely very good for base card stats at defending for the fullback position and then last but not least we have the physical stats so we definitely want to improve on him in regards to aggression strength and jumping so uh, the sbc is around 300k so we're going to see how this card performs in the game uh, the way that i am going to be lined up is going to be in a nice little cheeky 4 one 2 and 2 just for the sake of the review. So we're going to be using the 4 one 2 and 2 like this. Let's see where it's at. So 4 one 2 and 2 we'll use Hisoko over here. We'll use Ben Yedder there. Awar over here. Hisoko has a CDM. If we can get it there. Uh, and then we'll use Malqui off to the right side there. Tactics will be like this. With, like that. Press after possession loss. Uh, we'll do balance, but we'll have this like super high up there as well. And then the instructions will only be for the CDM. And then everything else will be on balanced. Okay. Uh, we'll just switch one thing here. So we'll just put Rebury up top right here. Cool beans. That's going to be for the attacking or defensive tactics. Attacking or defensive. That's going to be for the ultra defensive ones. Okay. Let's get into a game and uh, see how he performs. Okay. We'll switch to the uh, 4 one 2 and 2 We'll see how this bad boy performs. Let's see what his dribbling is like first. Yeah, his dribbling is pretty good, guys. See the quick cuts? Very, very important. Having the skill moves is definitely very nice for situations like that. And obviously, uh, with the pressure, he's able to kick my ball away from the feet. But... His acceleration and sprint speed is not bad to work with, for sure. Nice little interception right there at Malqui. I push him into the CDM position because you can kind of see how the 4 one 2 and 2 lines up. So if I go into the middle position, my Awar starts to occupy that area, which is why it's nice to have very well-balanced attacking and defensive-oriented players in that center mid area. And that's a lovely ball. Absolutely lovely ball to score that opportunity. Wow. Look at that for a cross, man. These things are so crazy, dude. But a good little assist there with Malqui. Very nicely done. Get to the right position at the right time. Again, it's going to be tough to always be able to attack with him because of his stamina being low, but... Well, 
All right, see what he's like running with the ball here. Ball roll, ball roll. It's not like super responsive. It's okay. Little pass off here. Movement through the middle. We're gonna make a pass upwards here. Bang. Gonna probably run back downwards here. Starts to go into the striker area. Because we involve him in the attacking play right there, so it kind of makes sense, obviously. So you can see when I'm using Awar, look at where Malqui's, uh position, right? So you see how he's in that right center mid position? It's not bad for you to have him there because he does have some decent attacking and defensive stats, obviously, so. Oh, man. We timed that run really well there for the uh, onside position. That was good. He often goes into that right center mid position for this 4-1-2-2 two, two because of the way that it's formatted right now. So our always constantly just goes back into that fullback area. Again, it's a good balance to have, right? Because you always have that uh, rotation thing that you don't have to worry about, right? Oh, that was actually a really well-weighted pass, but Riri just didn't want to get in front of that dude right there. His dribbling and skill moves don't come off like that clean. It's not like he's super uh, lean in that type of area, you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't feel super agile with the ball at his feet. It, it is a card, like I said, that mostly feels like he belongs on stay back while attacking. Oh, those shot cancels. Awar, let's go, baby. God, I love Awar as a center mid. That's why when I did his review, people freaked out. Like, how could you not use him as a striker? And I'm like, bro... This card is such a center mid. What do you mean? Oh, Kurzawa, you missed that, my dude. Again, what a ball by Malqui to get into that space. I want to try a shot under pressure there with his weak foot. Didn't really work out, but we tried it. I want to see what his dribbling was like just from the stop right there. Usually those don't come off well. Like, it's better to just go for, like, a fake shot stop just to stop the ball in place properly. He tracks back really quickly as well, which is great. I'm going to watch this one more little... Oh, he scores a near post anyways. But he does come back into position. Oh, that pass is really good too. That would have been nice. Easy goal there. Nicely done. Open up the space on the sides. Bang. Look at Malqui's stamina right there. <laughs> we are, to be fair, we are forcing him a lot, and it's a 72nd minute, but it's just like when you when you want to use like a 4 1 2 and 2, like I'm using right now, right? And you want to use him as a balanced fullback, the stamina being depleted quickly uh, definitely can present to be a problem. I would definitely prefer someone to feel more agile on the ball if they're going to be in that area as well. Like, even Kurzawa, I think, feels a little bit better uh, because Kurzawa has his height and his physical to work with the good dribbling stats that he has. Uh, but with Malqui, it's a little bit weird. It's a card that you can feel belongs mostly as a stay back while attacking player, which is definitely something you can do in this game. You can definitely have, like, one fullback to attack and then the other one to stay back to always guarantee that you have... Um, at least three of your players back there, but, you know. Nicely done, Malqui. He wasn't even controlling him right there, and he went for that interception. Again, guys, it's it's a card that you could definitely feel is someone you use mostly on stay back. Oh, I timed that composure a little bit off there. Nice. Shot across. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Malqui. Woo! At least we got a goal with him, boys. Dude, look at that ball, man. He sends those bad boys in, eh? He, he weights them really well, man. I mean, to be fair, most players do, but at least he can do that really well, too, you know? Oh, let's go, Malqui. 
Let's get it, baby. Another goal there. You see how you have to work with the dribbling a little bit? You could definitely feel it. Obviously, the improvements will definitely be very nice for a card like this, but... This guy's dead. He has, like, no stamina right now. I'm, I'm fully coming in this, man. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, final verdict on this Malakui card. So, if we take a look at how he performs in-game, I do think that the anchor chemistry style definitely makes the most sense for him because the pace, defense, and physical boost that the card definitely needs. Now, with him being a what-if upgrade SPC... If Fiorentina do well enough in real life, the card gets upgraded, which he most likely will, right? So the card's definitely going to look very nice with the dribbling boost, some of the shooting boost, as well as the passing boost. The only problem with this card for me, genuinely speaking, you know, considering that he is a fullback, honestly, is a 78 stamina. But even still, it's not necessarily, like, the biggest deal in the world, right? Like, yes, he'll lose stamina by the 75th minute, and it is annoying for sure, if you use him in a balanced way. But if you're using a card like this on stay back while attacking anyways, you're actually going to be looking at a very good right back to have that will be able to defend for you really well, especially with the upcoming upgrades that he's actually going to get, right? With this card being added into the game, he is... Probably the best right back that plays for France nowadays. The only other option that you have right now from the choices that you get is obviously going to be the Mukiele card or even an Aguilar card uh, with a Shadow Chemistry style, which can definitely do the work for you as well. But obviously, with the Malakui card, he is a better card. Now, I do think that the price range of the card is too expensive at 300k in regards to how he performs in game. I don't think he's that crazy, to be honest. Uh, but is he himself a good right back that plays for France, that gives you those uh, French Serie A links or... Just a good French, uh, French player to have in that right back position that is probably the best right back in the game now. Yes, but I do think that the SBC is definitely up there in price for sure. So if you're putting SBC fodder into it because you want to get a card like this for a potential squad that you want to make in the future, he'll definitely be really cool because as you guys know, French links are a very big deal to have in this game. But it's the price that's a little bit weird. Uh, and it's also the attacking presence because of the stamina being low. Obviously, the average body type of dribbling is a little bit of a problem too, but it's not a problem because it's a fullback and you just work with it because it's worth working for it as well because even the passing, to be honest, is actually pretty solid. Like Once he gets those upgrades as well, he'll definitely look really cool. But like I said, guys, stamina is off and then the price range, obviously, of the SPC is off as well. But is he a good card himself? Yes, for what he offers in-game from base characteristics. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.